friends, welcome back, or welcome if you're new. My name is Emma, and this is Dandelion Cottage. I finally got my hands on an Epson EcoTank ET15000. I am so excited. I'm sure most of my followers know it is so hard to get our hands on these printers right now. It's super, super difficult, but I was able to find one. Um, and what I have to say to you guys is don't give up. Just keep looking, just keep looking, just keep looking. Um, log in every morning to Office Depot and Staples. Um, in all the different places to see if one comes available. I got really lucky and through one of my Facebook groups that I follow, someone had mentioned that Tamara's Tidbits had some in stock. And I was like, hmm, never heard of that place before. Let me go check it out. And sure enough, she had two in stock. I think as of right now, she might be out of stock, but keep watching her website because the package that she includes with the printer is amazing and I'm super super happy about it. I paid full price for mine. I did not get a discount. I did not get anything free. So this is not a paid promotion. I am just very very happy with A her customer service was great and I'll tell you about that in a second and B the products that came with it. I'm just so excited to try all these new things that I haven't tried before with sublimation. So um, let me tell you a little bit about what comes with her package is of course your Epson EcoTank ET15000. And what she does is I'm sure it gets shipped to her and then she opens it up and she puts all this fun stuff for you inside. She, I've already looked um, and I'll show you as I, as I open the box, but she didn't take the printer apart or undo the printer in any way, shape or form. So the printer is in you know just as good a condition as it was when it got sent to her. Um, so you'll get the printer, you're gonna get your sublimation ink um, so that's a big difference. If you buy your printer from, you know, straight from the source, so Office Depot, Staples, wherever else, more than likely it's going to come with the original ink for that printer, not the sublimation ink. You do not want to use the regular ink when you're converting this to a sublimation printer. So her package includes the Epson version of the sublimation ink. The other reason I love that is if you use different inks out there, which I have Cosmos ink in my um, other sublimation printer that I have, which is an Epson 2760. What they say is that can void your warranty because you're not using their ink. Well, this is Epson ink. So using this in this printer isn't gonna void my warranty. So that's kind of exciting. Um, and I did wanna show you the difference. Let me grab, I still have some. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around and sell this because I don't need it. This came with my other printer. Um, this is what regular ink looks like. And then this is the same thing, but this is, you know, black. This is sublimation ink. Oh, this is cyan. <laughs> right here. Like, I want to have the same one. So see how it has a different name, okay? So regular ink is going to just be that 502, where the sublimation ink is going to be the T49M1. So make sure, and I, and I even double checked, like I went and I Googled this and I'm like, yes, it's sublimation ink. We're good to go. So yes, her package is going to come with sublimation ink so that you can go ahead and get your printer set up. So super excited that I don't have to wait to order that. Um, the other things it's going to come up with it or come with in her package is one pack sub paper, a hundred sheets, which is right here. Super excited about that. In fact, this is the whole reason I bought this printer is I wanted to be able to print on a much bigger surface. And you guys have seen, if, if you're one of my subscribers and followers, I did make another video. I'll go ahead and link it up above. Um, but that video helps kind of teach you how to piece, um, you know, when you need to make a larger image, how you can still make a larger image on an eight and a half by an 11 sheet, sometimes having to split it and then taping it back together. Um, so watch that video. If you don't have a bigger printer, there are ways of taping it back together. However, this is the whole reason I've been trying to get my hands on this is that does take extra time. Like I literally have to go in there and puzzle this all together, um, print it and then piece it all together after I print it. So now I won't have to do that anymore. So I'm very excited. Um, the next thing that it's going to come up with or come with is one roll of heat tape. I was really excited about this because this is the heat tape of my choice. I love this heat tape and I actually just ran out yesterday. So it's perfect timing. Um, and then you're going to have um, one t-shirt in the size of your choice. So, and I'm going to go off about this t-shirt right now because I'm obsessed. You guys know me. If you watch my videos, I'm obsessed with the Hobby Lobby white t-shirts. They're super soft. They're super stretchy. And in every video I show you, I just rave about them. I love them. I think I might have found a new favorite. 
This is amazing. Um, I haven't even looked to see how much it costs online. I just, I will, and I'll like, during this video, I'll go show you her website and stuff, but super, super stretchy, super, super soft. Um, and I, I kind of like the, um, the shape of this one almost better than the shape of the Hobby Lobby ones. So I really do feel like this is going to be my new favorite shirt. So we'll see what it looks like um, when we sublimate on it, but I actually really love it. So, um, and I would say it's very true to size. It looks like it's more of a unisex, which is fine because that's what I'm typically used to buying is the unisex sizes. Um, but I'm really excited. And I don't say that lightly because I am really picky about my white shirts and this one looks really great. So excited to try it. Um, I don't know off the top of my head what the polyester count is in it. Um, from the feel of it, I feel like it might be like 95% poly, 5% cotton possibly. Um, but it could very well be 100%, not sure, but definitely a high count. I can feel, you, you just feel um, the count in there. Then lastly, the thing that's going to come up, uh, come in this box is six random substrates. They sell all of these on their website, um, plus way more. So I think this is going to be one of my new favorite shops and that's why I'm sharing it with you today. So let's just go through and I want to show you some of the substrates she sent me. Um, and these ones may not be the same ones you get, but at least you can have an idea of what they sell on their site. Um, and I'm just, I'm really excited because there's a lot of things I haven't tried yet. And it's like, I don't really want to spend the money to try something if I don't, if I'm not going to like it. So it's just nice that it came in this package, um, so that I, I'm forced to try it and forced to try new things. And I do want to say, I, I know I scanned over this. This printer is usually around 600, 650, I believe with tax. Um, I want to say the package I bought from her was, um, I want to say it was 899, but again, it comes with all of this stuff. Um, I mean, the ink alone, you're looking at 50 bucks. Um, the paper, another 50 bucks usually for that many sheets, that big of sheets. And then the substrates. I mean, I don't feel like she's nickeling and diming with that price. I feel like it's actually a really good price for a beginner kit. Um, okay, so let's just see some of the substrates she sent me. Super cute little keychains. Look at that. So what it looks like to me is these are like little stickers that I peel off. And you're actually, I believe, going to sublimate on these cute little things. And then when you get done, you hook them to there. So I'm actually really excited to try this. Didn't even think about trying something like this. Um, so maybe I'll make a video, who knows? But that looks really cute. And I think I'm gonna keep it for myself because it's adorable. Uh, same thing, cute little things you can substrate on, uh, sub sublimate on. I've never done it, so I'm gonna have to look up some uh, tips and tricks on how to do this before I even attempt it and try. Um, and I bet you anything, if we go to her website, it may have the instructions, but I don't know, we'll see. Then we've got just a cute little um, towel cloth. I've always wanted to try this, so I'm excited that it came with one of those. I got a mask to try on, that'll be fun. Um, cute little zipper bag. So like that, that would be such a cute little coin purse. And again, it's polyester, so you can sublimate on this. You don't have to use HTV. Um, and then a larger one with a cute little, you know, if you wanna have it hanging. I think I'll use this one for like a makeup bag or something. Um, and then this one I'm actually excited about. I wouldn't have thought to try something like this, but a cute little Christmas sock. Um, and yeah, being able to do like a full design and I can do that now with my paper. Like, look at that. If I print something on that paper, I could sublimate the whole thing at one time. So exciting. So exciting. Um, I think that was it. I mean, those are the six items that I got. So again, to sum this all up, this was a package from Tamara's Tidbits. Um, I believe like when I looked the site up online, it actually came up as rtssublimationblanks.com. Um, same store. And it was for around $8.99. Came with all of this awesome stuff. Um, and the story behind this is I forgot to put in my shirt size. So Tamara was nice enough to call me because I had to put in my um, phone number. So she called me and while I was talking to her, I was like, hey, out of curiosity, um, I just started a YouTube channel and it's growing and I would love to be able to offer my followers um, a discount. And I wanna show them how to set this up and I would love to be able to show your products. And would you please, you know, give my followers a discount? And she said, yes, you guys. So thank you to Tamara. You guys are going to be able to get a discount if you um, go type in dandelion10 
then it's a 10% off discount. She says, as of right now, there's no expiration on it. So depending on when you're watching this video and if you wanna try something, you could go get 10% off. That's pretty awesome. So thank you so much to Tamara's Tidbits for that. Again, I'm not getting a kickback. I paid a full price for everything you see here, um, but she was nice enough to give my followers a discount. So thank you so much. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead off camera. I'm gonna pull this big old machine out of the box and we will start taking off all of the tape and plastic. And I'll probably just push fast forward through that part, so. Okay, I believe that I was able to get all of the pieces of tape off and all of the plastic off. Um, I don't know if you saw me struggle that for a bit. I couldn't figure out how to lift it up. So just in case you guys get this, um, I kept trying to lift this thing up, which is where your scanner is. But if you go to both sides, here and here, there's like a little handle on each side. And you just pull that up and then this little kickstand just holds it up for you. So you'll need this up to be able to open up the ink to fill in our ink cartridges. So we're gonna try doing that next. Um, Tamara did tell me that these are not exactly the right size. Um, these are meant for a larger printer. So we're gonna try and I hope it works and I don't have to go get, sometimes they say you have to get needle and you have to like get a syringe and uh, syringe it in and I'm hoping I don't have to do that because that doesn't sound very fun. But let's just start with the black. I have done this before on my smaller printer, so I'm not super nervous about doing it. I'm gonna kind of zoom in here for a second. Let me grab my camera and show you. Do you see how it has, oh, camera. Do you see how it has like the shape? You can see the little shapes there and there. Um, and that shape matches the shape of this. So you're just going to, it's almost like putting it in as like a puzzle piece. Um, I don't dare do this one-handed. I feel like I'd get ink everywhere. So, but I definitely wanted to zoom in and show you what it looks like and that you're just putting this in at the same angle. If you try to put it in this way, obviously it's not gonna fit and you're probably gonna get ink everywhere. So make sure you're going in at the same angle. Um, but I think what she was saying is that it's probably meant for a bigger printer. So these things might be too big for this printer. And if so, um, she said, just take off these parts and just stick that straight down. So we're gonna try that.
right guys, so we're done filling up the ink. I hope that you were able to see what I did there. But basically these inks are um, not the right fit for this size printer because this is not a sublimation printer. So um, the hole that I was kind of showing you before, it's a little bit of a different size than these ones are. So when I went to put them in, it didn't work. Um, so as you saw there, I just got some really dull <laughs> wire gutters and I was able to cut off the sides and it worked perfect. I was able to just shove them right on in. Um, and they just, they fill up, you can feel it kind of gurgling in the, in your hand and it automatically stops. Uh, this first one I got a little bit nervous about cause I couldn't tell, but it definitely automatically stops and you can kind of just feel the gurgling stop. And I still have quite a bit of ink left. So that's kind of exciting because this will probably last me a really long time. So, um, and then once I turn the printer on and it starts processing, you'll see that your ink level is going to drop a little bit because it's going through, you know, the mechanics of the, the printer. And at that time, if you wanted to, you could go and fill a little bit more back up. So let's go ahead and close this. We're going to close this lid here. And then to put this down, you just pull it up just slightly. And then uh, the kickstand, you push it back, you grab both sides, and then you just slow, slowly lower it back down. Um, I've already plugged it in, so let's just go ahead and turn it on. And we're just going to follow the prompts and see what it asks us to do. So do I want English? Yes, I do. It's all touch screen, which is kind of cool. Hopefully you guys can see this. I wonder if I can zoom in. Let's see. I'm going to just bring it forward because I think it'll be nicer if you guys can actually see what I'm seeing. Yes, I'm in the USA. Daylight savings time. Right now we're in the summer. Um, all right, we're in 2021 and we're in July and today, oh my goodness, what is today? Today is the 18th, Sunday the 18th, hit okay. It's saying, do you want to do the 12 hour or 24? I don't like to do military time. It still confuses me. Um, it says, what time is it right now? Good question. <laughs> what time is it? 2.35. Oh, zero, two, three, five. And then how do I switch it to PM? Nope. I'll go back. I don't know how to switch it to P oh, right there. <clears throat> PM down there and hit okay. Ooh, it's doing something. Ooh, I need to get some paper ready. I know it's gonna ask for paper here in a second. And for this part, you guys, when you're setting up your printer, don't use your expensive sublimation paper. Make sure that you're using just regular paper. And we're gonna be putting it down in this one down here. I'll just plug this out. You're gonna open these up with your fingers. Sorry, terrible angle. All the way we're gonna put our paper inside and then we're gonna close it back up all right let's go back to the screen see the start here bundled with printer or on website okay which I have the instructions right here that I've been following so now when it says when the message to see the start here sheet appears on the LCD screen press and hold the question button or the help button for five seconds so it's this button here. There we go. Start initialization, confirm the tank is filled with ink. Well, we did that, we're gonna hit done. And now because we put the paper in here, it's gonna start doing the initialization process. It says initialization complete. Uh, move on to print quality adjustments. So it says two adjustments here. We're gonna click that. Align the printer to get the best print quality. So we're gonna say adjust recommended or adjust later. We're gonna go ahead and do this one. Perform a print head nozzle check to check print quality. So we're gonna go ahead and click print. 
Um, it's telling us to load the paper, which we already did, and we're gonna click print. So then what it's asking us to do is it's saying check the printed pattern and select the closer result. Is it X or is it O? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was really confused by this one. So it's saying, do you have ones that are not connected or are they completely connected? Well, if you look at, sorry, I'm trying to show you here on this print. There we go. If you look at this, you can see that I've got some holes here. So we're gonna say, as of right now, it's still not connected. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the X. It's saying that we need to um, do uh, perform a print head cleaning. So we're gonna hit run. Cleaning starts and then the nozzle check pattern is printed. So we're gonna go ahead and click start. It says that this is gonna take about three minutes. So we're looking at it again to see if there is any lines and there is no breakup in the lines. So um, we're gonna go ahead and tell the printer that we are happy with it. So we're gonna say, yes, we're happy. And the X is saying that you still have lines. Right now we don't have any of the lines. Um, align the print position to fix misalignment and branding. Yes, we want to. So we're gonna go ahead and click the blue button. Perform four types of alignment in order. Load four sheets of litter. So I believe I do have four sheets in there. Yeah, I've got four. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. Oh, I guess I have to click the print. Okay, so it's saying select the pattern that shows no gap or dark line. On row number one, out of the entire row, again, we're going down that row. This one's row number one and this one's row number two. So out of row number one, I would say the one that has the no gap, well, they all kind of have a gap. Oh, I see what you're saying, the straight up and down. Um, I would say number five and then proceed to column two. So looking at column two, mm, I would say number two, probably uh, maybe three. Okay, so this one definitely looks a little bit different. You've got your number one through number six, and you're gonna look over and it's asking you which one is the fullest, like that has no lines. So you would look on here and you would decide, okay, out of all of these, which one has no lines? It's really obvious in this example on the top line that number seven of row one is the one that has like zero lines in it. So I'm just gonna go all the way down um, answering the questions through this part. So I take it over to seven and then proceed to line number two. Same thing, I'm gonna look at number two, number seven again, and then I just keep going. Okay. And same thing here. We've got number one, number two. It's asking us to tell um, which one has the straightest line. Um, so you, what's gonna happen here is some of these just might be off. They all look pretty darn good. Um, but if I had to pick one of these, I would say number seven is super duper straight. So we're gonna go all the way up to number seven and then do line two. And that one looks to be about the same, number seven. Now it wants us to go to page four. I'm gonna go ahead and click print. Oh, 
Ooh, this one looks fun. Uh, this one wants to see that the two boxes are touching. They don't want to be overlapping, but they don't want to not be touching. So it's asking, this whole page is number one. It's asking out of all of these ones, which one is like the perfect lineup. So I can see overlap, 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 not overlapping at all. And then these two start coming apart. So I would say definitely number five on this example and hit proceed. And now it's saying that your uh, print head alignment is complete. You can adjust again from the maintenance. So if you ever feel like your prints are off, then you can go back into the settings here in maintenance and you can do the same thing all over again. We're gonna go ahead and hit okay. Now select paper size and type for paper source. Don't panic you guys, this printer does do the small prints, um, the regular eight and a half by 11 here down below, but up above that's where you can do your bigger sheets. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just set the printer up at this regular one, and then I will show you in our printer settings on our computer how you can print um, a, a bigger setting when you go to print. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. So the paper cassette, it's saying, do you wanna do the eight and a half by 11, the paper tray, eight and a half by 11. These look fine, we're gonna leave it at that. Now, if I wanted to change these to like bigger sizes, I definitely could, but again, we're gonna do that in the settings, the printer settings on the computer. We're gonna hit okay. I don't want to do fax on this printer, so I'm gonna set up later, because I don't need it. Fax is not set up yet. Remind you later? No, because I don't ever want to do it. Okay, so the setup portion is complete, and now you wanna, before you go to your printer, unless you're gonna hook this up directly to your computer, um, I don't want to, I wanna do wireless. So we're gonna go and we're gonna try and find, um, maybe be able to click up there, yeah. So there's this button up here that looks like a wireless connection. We're gonna click on that. It says Wi-Fi recommended, Wi-Fi direct. Um, let's see if I can click on it. Okay, yeah, I just clicked on the button there at the top. And then it says recommended connection method when the Wi-Fi router is available at home or office. We're gonna start the setup. And we're gonna do the Wi-Fi setup wizard. It's searching for my router. And there I am. Hamilton's and so now it's asking me to enter the password okay so you saw there that it went through it said that we're connected and now it's saying do you want to register um, a firmware update is available update the firmware from the settings menu okay um, you can register to Epson connect um, um, I don't like to do this, so I'm gonna hit no. And then participate in the future design. Um, this is, I don't like doing this either, but it's up to you. You can check later, reject it or approve. I'm just gonna hit reject. So now we're completely set up on our Wi-Fi, and now we can go to our computer. All right, guys, I moved the printer over to its final resting point. Um, as you can see, I've got lots of printers. Um, maybe just a quick tour of my office. So you guys are used to seeing this view when I do my videos um, or this view when I'm doing the corner videos over there. Um, but this corner you hardly ever see. But this is my full time job that I do during the week. Um, Hi guys. I don't even want to show you that corner. So it's just a complete mess right now. And then, of course, my shirt corner. Um, but yeah, I have a full-time job during the week and so I really only run my Etsy shop in the evenings and on the weekends. So I was thinking of selling this printer because these are both my sublimation printers, the bigger printer one and then the smaller prints. But because I only work on the weekends, I sometimes will have to complete like all of the orders that came in during the week, which could be up to, you know, 10, 20 shirts and the, you know, printing sublimation, each print takes a while to print. So I figured I could keep both and the smaller prints I could be printing on this printer while the bigger prints I could be printing on this printer. So as of right now, I'm gonna keep them both. Then this one definitely serves a different purpose. This is the only one with regular ink. This is my laser jet and I use this for stickers. I use it for my thank you cards, um, things like that. So there's my setup, it's kind of crazy. And then of course, I'm sure you've noticed from my videos, my piano. This is uh, another thing that I love to do. And I taught myself how to play during COVID. So that was kind of fun. So, okay, one thing I did want to show you is this printer does still print the small prints, which you can put in here. These are going to be the eight and a half by 11s. But then what you can do is back here, you just slightly pull it up and then it falls forward. So I'm probably going to have to pull 
this corner out just a tad to let it fall forward like that. And this is where we're gonna put our larger papers. And like I was telling you, Tamara's Tidbits sent us the larger papers. So those are what I'm gonna stick there. And you're gonna want the um, sublimation side facing towards you because it comes face up when it prints. Um, and you're gonna know which, which side is the sublimation. So the really um, smooth side is not. The rougher side is what you're gonna be sublimating on um, or printing on, I'm sorry. Then what I've done for these smaller prints, same thing with this printer, the smaller prints go in the top. Um, I get the larger prints. This is a sub. I've used a sub and koala. I get the 11 by 17 and I cut them right down the middle with my little cutter. I was going to show you that really quick so you can see how I do it. I'm trying to hook my camera up here. Ooh. All right. Does that work? I think so. Okay, so I just open up the cutter like so. My cutter is getting a little dull, so it only cuts down right now. I need to replace this doohickey. And I usually do three at a time. It's my magic number. And then what I'm doing is I'm just using the ruler here and I'm going all the way over to the eight and a half. And I'm putting it right out there, putting this down and cutting it. So I'm just gonna cut me a few pieces. I'll go ahead and fast forward so that we can put these ones in the bottom and we can put the bigger ones on the top. Now I wanted to point out that we're all human. We all make mistakes. And I cut one of these. I must have went by um, eight and a quarter or eight instead of eight and a half. So one of these is too small. <laughs> As you can see right there, it's not the same. So don't throw these away. You can still use these papers. Just adjust the um, size on your printer. Um, or you can use these with those um, infusible ink pens. Like you can use that. It's, I mean, don't throw this paper away. So I'm just gonna recut this to the eight and a half. About right there, yeah, I was off by a quarter of an inch, Emma. <laughs> Oops. Yep, that's there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just move the camera over slightly. Hopefully you can't see my huge mess and hopefully my body won't be in the way. So this is where we're gonna take these small papers and we're gonna put them in the bottom. I'm gonna leave some out to go in that one. So I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna remove these papers. These are the ones from before. This is just a regular paper that goes in this printer. Now, your prints are always gonna be face up. So I believe we want all of these papers, the sublimation side, to be down because these are gonna go up and around. If I'm wrong, I'll let you know and I'll put something on the screen. Okay, so there's that one. Um, I'm gonna pull this for just a tiny bit more. So I definitely have the room there. We're gonna put our big sheets on this one. Now on this one, we want the sublimation side forward because as it prints, it's going to print with the picture up. So if we print it on that side, then we'll be in trouble. Not in trouble, but we would waste all of our paper. So we're gonna go ahead and just slide that in. Tighten up the sides there so that it aligns and fits. And there you go. So now I've got my printer completely set up with the rough side on the front, the smooth side on the back, the smaller sheets inside. Same thing with this one. Um, it also prints up, so this is where they come out, and this is where they would go in. Just like so. And now both of my sublimation printers are all set up and ready to go. One really exciting thing that I forgot to mention is this printer has Koala ink in it, not Koala, um, Cosmos ink in it, and then this one has the Epson. So I'm going to compare the two, ink, uh, the two inks, maybe not in this video, but maybe in another video, I'll compare the two inks because there's so many people that rave about one or the other. And I truly am interested if it's that big of a difference. 
So let's go ahead and head over to the computer so that I can finish setting up our printer. Okay, you guys, we're over here at my computer. Um, and I apologize for not looking right at you. I am using a different screen right now. Um, so we're gonna go to the epson.com forward slash support. Um, what was it? We're gonna go to www.epson.com forward slash support forward slash ET15000 for the US. Once I got there, it, bring, it brought me straight to this page. And what's really nice is your computers are really smart and it's going to automatically, the operating system, it's going to fill in what it's detecting based off what you're using. Um, but if you didn't know what windows you were on, because look how many different options you have here, just go down to your settings menu, um, click on the settings menu and then find the about, and that will tell you your Windows specifications. So I'm on a Windows 10, so I'm gonna leave it exactly what it detected. So we're gonna keep it there. And then you just go down here to this download button. We're gonna download it. Okay, so while we're over here at the computer, I wanted to kind of show you um, Tamara's Tidbits website. So I just Googled the Tamara's Tidbits and you can see here that it automatically takes you to the rtssupplementionlinks.com. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. Um, again, I am not affiliated in any way, shape or form at this moment. Maybe someday I will be. Um, I just was super impressed with her great customer service. She was super nice. Um, and I'm really impressed with all the stuff that the package came with. So if you go to the sublimation starter kits, it includes the printer, like it says. Um, you'll see down here, oh, it does say that it's out of stock. But when it is in stock, I mean, just keep watching for it because I'm telling you right now, it's a good package. Um, but yeah, it looks like it was 890 when I purchased it. If you click on it, this is where it shows you exactly um, everything that it comes down um, or it comes with. Um, oh, look at this, $15 credit from this person. Um, I haven't tried that. I'll have to look into that and see if it's something in my box. Anyways, really cool. Um, that's where you're going to find the printer. But let's also go back to her home because she says she's got lots of blanks. Um, and the blanks that I that came in my kit, you can... Oh, look at these cute Halloween. Ooh, pre-buy new sublimation pens. I mean, look at all this fun stuff, you guys. Bottle openers. Oh, ooh, that would have been awesome for Father's Day. Ooh, a passport holder. Look at all this fun stuff. Oh my Lanta. I'm gonna go nuts. And I love these coasters. I've made a few of those, but none from this website. Um, here's their tumblers. Too cool. And here's their apparel. And I'm, I kid you not, I'm making these shirts. Like I'm gonna use these shirts because I am now obsessed. I mean, look at how much stuff they have. This is really exciting. Let's just check on the apparel. Oh look, they've got toddlers, they've got youth, and they've got the adults, so they are unisex like I thought. Ooh, they have hoodies. I've wanted to try to do some hoodies. Okay, I'm excited. Um, so a really easy website to go through and look at. So check it out, tamarinstidbits.com, or, or I Googled it and it looks like it's rtssublimationblanks.com. So again, Tamara, thank you so much for being, you know, a great customer service and a great website and a great deal. So, um, Oh, I may have forgot to mention, Tamara is going to be offering a 10% discount to all of my followers. So just go to the website, put something in your um, your cart, and add, I would assume the code. Let's go do it. Let's go to a shirt. Let's just add this shirt to the cart. We're going to go to view cart. And let's see, where does it ask? Note to seller. If you wanted to note the seller, let's go to, well, let's continue shopping. Let's go to checkout. Please agree to the terms. Oh, I have read the terms, sure. We're gonna go to checkout. And then here's where you're gonna put in your discount code. So right there, put in Dandelion10 for your 10% discount. So that's pretty awesome. And as of right now, she says there's no expiration date. So that is really, really nice of her. So thank you, thank you. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. Or should I say a few days ago's video? I started a few days ago, life gets in the way. I have a full-time job and I didn't have time to wrap up the video that same day that I started it. So here we are a few days later. As you guys all know, I work during the week, um, my full-time job. It's the evening now, so I got to play. I get to play in the evenings. And I decided to make a shirt with the shirt that Tamara's Tidbits sent me. And I think it just turned out adorable cute little Halloween shirt for me. Um, I may even sell this one on my site. I think it's so cute. 
I can't remember where I found the prints, but I'll look it up and I'll leave the, um, the link below. I think it was on Etsy. It was probably an Etsy seller. If it wasn't Etsy, then it was um, Design Bundles. That's usually one of the two that I get my prints from. Uh, the other thing that I did is I did run a few test runs on this. Sh I, this is my test shirt. I do test runs on it all the time um, because I was really interested in the difference between Epson ink and Cosmos ink because I'd only ever used Cosmos ink. And I am a Cosmos fan. Totally, totally big fan. Um, Epson's isn't terrible by any, any means, but um, when you see the difference, so just this top one here, this whole top row is the Cosmos ink. You can see the green and the bright orange, and then you move down to the Epson ink and you can just see even the purple hair is like almost entirely a different color of purple and the orange is a different color. So again, it's not horrible, but it's definitely different. So interesting, right? Um, I will still use this Epson ink. It came with the printer and I'll work through it. It'll probably last me maybe four months, maybe a little bit longer. Um, but probably once it's gone, I'll probably switch back to Cosmos because I definitely like the Cosmos ink. Um, if you have any questions, I know there was a lot of parts that I went by, you know, maybe too fast, maybe too slow. I don't know. Feel free to join us on our Facebook group, which is Dandelion Cottage DIY with Emma. Not to be confused with just the regular Dandelion Cottage. There's two different groups. That one is for just my sales. Like I go on there and I show my customers what I have for sale. But if you go to Dandelion Cottage DIY with Emma, that's the one where all of us, all of my followers, all of my friends, we get on and we, you know, bounce ideas off of each other. So if you have any questions about setting up your printer, go ahead and just post it there and we'll be happy to help you and, you know, get you started. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. I know some of you already have your printer set up, so hopefully you didn't have to watch this whole video and were bored out of your mind. But if this did help you, I would really appreciate a like. It helps me know that you like my content and helps encourage me to keep making more. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell so that you get notified anytime that I upload a new video. Until next time, we'll see you later, friends.